So if you're looking how to do the exotic mission presage, uh, that's what this video is going to be for. I'm going to go pretty slow through it. I'm not going to like speed run or anything. So I'm going to go through as slow as possible, go over everything that you would need to know in order to complete this exotic mission. If you need any help doing it on normal or the legend version of it, come by the stream, kick.com slash tricks, T-R-I-I-G-Z. And I'll be helping people. I'm helping people literally right now. I just asked you people to join and not move. So that way I could do a guide for this. So we'll be helping people out whenever this is in the pinnacle rotation. Same with all the other exotic missions. So if you want to get the catalyst done, you, you know, you're trying to do it on legend. You can't get it done. So it starts off, you load in. This door we're going to open for our two teammates. They're not going to move, but we're going to open the door for them if they want to get through it if they can't make these jumps so we're going to jump over here turn the music down a little bit and we jump to this platform we jump up here and then be careful with these because these will mess up your jumps so we jump up here and you could either jump up there or over here so to play it safe i just want to go here you could also jump if you're really feeling risky you could jump up here as well but totally up to you which way you want to do it then we'll jump to this platform. Then we'll go to this one. Then we'll go up here. Another jump. Then we jump to this platform. So we have to make it to there. So you can always jump on the outside here. Because if you jump from here, you can hit your head. Um, and you just sink to the bottom. So a quick little tip. Just jump from here. And then there you go. That's how you do that. And that's probably the easiest way to get through that. And like I said, these boxes just block your way through. So be careful for them. That's why I said they will mess up your jump. So we're going to run through. Try not to go too, too fast. So we shoot this vent to open it. And then we go to the one to the right. We don't go to this one over here. We're not worried about that one. Go over here. We shoot that. Go under this. And we can jump up. We take this left, another left, we go all the way over here, then we shoot this one. So to open the door, I just activate this right here, and that door will open up for my teammates, but they're not going to be moving, so. So how the encounter works basically throughout the whole dungeon, if you see something like this, I can't run through it. So what I need to do is shoot this, um, like, gooey looking thing, and it will give you the buff. And that will allow me to run through. So then I'm just gonna jump up here. And we shoot this vent. And there it is. So you get through those. Keep running. Jump up here. And we wanna jump up to this platform. Then just jump up here. And there you go. So we'll keep running. Go left. You can go left or right there, it doesn't really matter. So when we jump down here, the goal is to make it to where that door is, so we have to go through there. So we're gonna run this way. Be careful of these screeps that are gonna spawn in. Shoot them. Then there's a switch that we're gonna activate. So when we activate that, that is gonna allow us to shoot that buff again. So this door is gonna open. So we're gonna shoot it. Gonna jump across. And we jump down here. And you could just, you know, run past these screebs. Or shoot them. It's up to you what you want to do. I usually just run by them. And we jump across to here. Then we have to shoot this. So we shoot that. And we'll open this platform. And we're in this room. Gotta jump up here. The right. We activate this switch. And then be careful for the screams down here. Like I said, you feel free to kill them if you want to. A little safe way is just jump up here. On that little red pipe. Then, gotta jump across to there. There's gonna be another switch. If you can't make it, if you fall down, you can jump up on here. But if you fall into that, you will die, so be careful. So we activate that switch. And we gotta go back where we came from. Out for these screebs again. We're gonna shoot that one. So this part coming up is a little tricky. You gotta be pretty quick with it. But if you 
um, wipe on this part. It's not the end of the world because you'll just respawn and do it again. It actually could make it easier if you die here. So we jump down here. And when we activate this switch, these two floor panels are going to open up. And there's going to be three blue switches that we got to shoot. But there's going to be Screeb spawning in as well. So I'm going to show you the way that I do it. So I activate it. And I always check these ones first while I'm shooting the Screebs. Because, so look, you could miss this one without even noticing. So there's the first blue switch. We shoot the vent. I'm going to kill these Screebs real quick to make my life a little easier. More will spawn in, though. We look for this switch here. We shoot it. We look for the second one. Oh, see, look, it's back here. That's how easy it is to, like, go past them. So once we shoot all three switches, we see this one with the red lights. We shoot it, and we can jump down. So when we jump down, I'm going to run this way. Jump over here. And then on this part, when we jump down, it's just going to be an ad clearing section. There's going to be a bunch of enemies that spawn in here. You really don't need, like, a crazy loadout for this mission. It's, like, whatever you really prefer to run. I'm using a linear and then this fusion rifle. I've been having fun using it, but you really use whatever you want. It's not too, too hard of a mission on the normal mode. On Legend, it's a little bit of a different beast, so... You pop the grenade aspect of this one, and we'll shoot it. Kill all these enemies. Gotta kill one more up here. Once we kill all those, this door will open. And we'll keep running this way. So the next area is gonna be another like ad clearing section. There's gonna be a bunch of ads as well as two abominations that we gotta kill. So there is no like rally banners that you can place down either until the final boss. So if you wanna save your ammo back there, feel free, but so on the left side, we'll have a solar enemy that we gotta kill. Well, there's a couple other lurkers. We'll kill them. And then I like to go, I'll go top middle and I'll kill the void ones. These are probably the ones you want to go out the most because these are the sniper ones. So they'll kill you pretty quick. You gotta be careful for those. You kill this one. And then we have the arc one over here. And then the abominations have spawned in. So we have a lot of enemies that we gotta kill. So what I'm gonna do really quickly is I'm gonna pop my super. Pour out all this. Putting in work. And they're not too, too hard to kill. <laughs> I like that finisher. So, I'm just taking my time. If you're really struggling, though, like, if you're dying a bunch of times, you can always put, like, Wish Ender on or something and hang out back here and just shoot enemies as you normally would. So, if I want to put, like, something else on, I just kind of hang out back here and take my time. There's no need to rush. There's no timer on the normal version. So, no rush on this part. Feel free to do what you got to do. Just sit back the enemies because it's pretty easy to to die on this and if you're doing it solo you don't want to wipe so. a shotgun on <laughs> it's gonna change to a shotgun but yeah wish ender is um pretty good and everything i love wish Ender. it's me help wish ender as well we do help for that again the kick stream get everything done for you all right so i'm gonna put back on my loadout we're almost done here. We just got to kill every enemy in here has to die. Otherwise, you can't go forward. So there it is. All the enemies are dead. And we're going to keep running forward. So. so when we get to this area, up on this, on the ship, you can do this anyway. You prefer to jump up as long as you can make it. And there you go. Just like that. Or... Do the way you just jump up here and jump up there. You don't have to do it that way, but that's the way that I like doing it. So, 
try not to go too, too quick. <laughs> Sometimes you get in a habit of just trying to go as fast as I can without even noticing. So for this room, we want to go through that door. So we're going to activate this switch. And then we're going to get the buff. And that will allow us to go through this door right here. So once we get in this room, if you're fast enough, you can run and get through with the buff. But for the sake of the video, all these scrapes, so kill you without realizing. So we activate that switch. Then we're going to shoot this right here. Once we shoot that, this arc shield's going to go down. We activate that switch. We activate this one, and then we'll open this door. And when we jump down, we're going to get the buff from this. And we're going to run this way. You loot. You want to, if you have a long range weapon, you want to shoot that um, switch from further back because that shield has a pretty quick timer. So. If you, like, go all the way up close to it, shoot it, and then try to run up, the shield could spawn back in, and you don't want that, so. Make sure you're kind of close to that shield if you are gonna do it, because trying to get up close to it doesn't always work out. We'll be cutting it close. So we do all this. We get the buff we just did there by activating that switch, and... Shoot in the turret, we kill that, shoot the switch, and then that opens up the buff. Then we jump down here, we get the buff again, and we just keep running for it. So we're just going to go left, through here, and really quickly, I'm going to go back because I think I did that pretty quick. So when you jump down here, you'll see the blue light through this room. So the room that has, the, see how these doors are just like plain looking? And the other ones had, like, the double doors that we could shoot. So that's how you know which doors you have to go through. So you'll see the blue light. You get the buff. This door will have, like, the two doors on it. So that's how we know we have to go this way. And then we just make a left. You don't go forward or anything. We go this way. We activate the switch. And when we're done, go over this way. And we're going to go through that door now. So we get the buff. And there's going to be a bunch of enemies in this room <laughs> once again. So I'm going to pop my super just to clear them real quick. So once we kill all those enemies, we go to the left here. There's a switch we got to activate. And then we got to shoot that fuse. We're going to go backwards again. And over to the right. We get the buff once again. And that will allow us to go through this entrance. And we're almost at the boss. This last room. So you are able to make it to the final part just by getting the buff right here. But I'm going to do it the normal way. But this is the route that you take. I was doing it the way without getting the buff. i just go here. And I'd be able to make it. I'd be able to run through that. But I'm not going to. However, what I do if I was doing it the normal way, I'd activate that switch. Shoot that fuse there. And then this makes it so you don't have to rush through it like that, so. I was cutting it close, so if you don't think you can make that. Once you do all that, we get the buff here again. Jump up on this. And then that will allow us to get the buff over here. We just refresh it. Kill that turret. And this switch will make it so your your friends can get in without getting the buff. So, that's always nice. So now we can put the rally down. And it is going to be the final boss. So, good things for the final boss are things like you could use Wither Horde. You don't want to get um, up nice and close to the boss. You don't want to use like a sword or anything. You want to like play the edge of the map if you haven't done it before. So, we shoot that buff. We jump down. So I'm going to explain how this works. 
Need some water. So, this boss has that little bar of health. So we just have to get rid of that little bar of health for now, that first chunk. We shoot him, and then he's going to teleport below us. So if we try to go down there now, you're like, oh, I want to damage him now. Well, we can't. It's on fire. We're going to die. So we don't want that. So what we need to do is kill all the enemies in this section. Which there aren't, like, too, too many at first, so... Another 2-2 two, two to add to the counter. <laughs> we activate that switch. We activate this switch. I always activate those two. I recommend before this one because you will um, be burning in this one. However, if you activate both the other switches, when you do this final one, you won't be burning. Because it will... Um, Activate the coolant flush. So, we do this one first, then that one, or either one. You do that one first, then that one. Just always do that one last, so you don't die. So, it's going to be damage phase. So, I'm going to show you a couple, like, little cheesy spots. So, if I'm using Wither Horde or Anarchy, I could lure the boss over here. So where's the boss? Get over here. So, there he is. So, I could lure the boss over here. I can jump up here. He can, when he slams, sometimes it will, like, hit you. But if I lure him, like... There we go. Keep running. Keep running. See, sometimes he's stingy. So it doesn't always work. But you want to play the edge of the map. See, here he goes. So we, we get him in the spot. Now, if I had Anarchy, I'd just be shooting it right here. Like, on him. Kind of like that. And then, normally what I do, though, is I just stay on the edge. Because I'll show you what happens. If we go too far in, and we do too much damage to so that first bar of health... Uh-oh, we're starting to burn again. I gotta get out of here. You see how quick that health bar goes down? Do not want that. So you always want to play the edge of the map for this boss. That's why I say long-range weapons are good for this. And then more ads are going to spawn in. This is going to be for the second wave of damage. Watch out for the screams that will randomly spawn in, too. Because those, those will catch you out of nowhere. Alright, so we activate these fuses here again to start the next damage phase. So you know you've killed all the adds for the switches when these stalkers spawn in on each side. These two um, stalkers on each side. That's how you know. Time to activate the switch. So there's code 2. Coolant flush 2. And then we get the third one in here. Be careful for this ad because while you're burning, he'll shoot you too. And that will kill you as well. There's a lot of things that can kill you very, very quickly on this mission. So you want to... Like, be aware of things like that. Especially if you're going for, like, a solo run. Or if you're doing it on Legend, like, those deaths can hurt you, especially on a timer. So, once again, we play the edge of the map. A little trick that I like to also do on. If you have a Waveframe grenade launcher, I'm going to put on here really quickly. Do some more damage. But if you're, like, really pushing it, like, you really don't want to die. Uh, if you shoot a Waveframe, like, off that wall... It will actually bounce and damage him, but it's not going to do that much, so. It's not even really worth showing that much. But we're just doing damage here. Try not to melt him too, too much. I kind of want to show you how it can be. So all these enemies are going to spawn into. The boss is going to sometimes run away from you and then come back out of nowhere. You want to watch out for him. That's why I said, I'm always playing the edge of the map. See, there we go. Then on to the final damage phase. So I'm pretty weak, so that's why I'm kind of like <laughs> hanging out behind this little pillar here. Sun is doing some burn damage to me. I'm just playing it safe for a second. We're going to clear these enemies again. We got the Screebs in as well. You want to be careful for that. And like I said, if you're struggling to stay alive, use these. Like, use the objects to your advantage. I can, you know, hide a lot behind these and shoot what I need to. So if there's a bunch of enemies over here like this, I want to kill these two enemies. I can keep going, like, back and forth, shoot these ones, 
Same with this, once those enemies are dead. Take out the enemies one at a time. The Screebs spawn in again. Watch out for that. Hey, use the environment to your advantage. I'll throw out all these enemies because I just want to get them out of there. Yeah, I really like Thunder Crash is good as long as you can like get them to the edge of the map. I wouldn't recommend um, something like where you're up close, like the Strand Hunter Super, where you're like gotta be in like the middle. He's all the way back there. Don't get in the middle of the map down there. Trust me, you don't want to do it. It only lead to bad things. It's tempting. It really is. Don't do it. Not worth it. Alright, so last bar of damage phase after we activate those switches again. Gonna play it a little safe here because there's enemies here. See, he likes to hide. It's weird. <laughs> Gotta be careful for him. And then out of nowhere, sometimes he will teleport too. Like right onto you. And he'll do his like slam mechanic. And that will kill you. He hasn't done it. I've been waiting for it. I'm gonna kill these enemies. So here, on the last one, you're not gonna get the oven mechanic because it's the last damage phase. So on this one, you can feel free to run around like I am right now. Oh, Lord. See, watch out for this. The bad, bad, bad spot to be in. Somehow I, I don't even know how I stay alive right there. That's wild. And there it is. The last bit of damage and boom. Easy loot. Don't ask me how I stayed alive at that end right there. I have no clue. Just can't panic. You gotta come up with a play. Like I said, those enemies, they'll be everywhere. During those damage phases, so you gotta be careful. But that's pretty much it on how to do the presage mission. I try to go over everything while like doing the mission live. Um, I just definitely feel like it isn't the hardest mission to do. Um, on normal, that is, it gets a little more intense on legend, especially. But if you need help, if you just want to get them done quick, all your runs. Um, cover the stream once again, kick.com slash tricks T R I I G Z. That's it for the video. I'll see you next one. All right, peace.